The Los Angeles Lakers are set to play their first preseason game of a back-to-back -back against the Phoenix Suns. These two teams will meet twice in the first four regular season games. However, LeBron James is out of this game, which changes what was supposed to be a dress rehearsal for the Lakers. To start the game, the Lakers look to free up Anthony Davis. Unsurprisingly, with coach J.J. Redick, AD isn't getting it in the post or anywhere near the paint. Instead, he gets a wide-open three after a screen from Max Christie. And AD knocks down the first shot. <laughs> with LeBron out, the Lakers look to lean on AD sooner. After a strong defensive play by the Suns and Nurkic, they follow it up with a lapse, allowing AD to get a wide-open look in the pick-and-roll with D'Lo. Wide open, AD, yes sir! Now they're putting Nurkic in a lot of either pick and rolls or isos, and uh, so far, so good. Booker, that's good ball. Oh, that's great ball movement. All the way to the corner for Durant, and it results in a three! After some beautiful ball movement by the Suns and a KD three, the Lakers quickly respond by going to AD, once again exploiting Nurkic's poor coverage. Anthony Davis red hot to start the game. Yeah, I'd say he's uh, red hot. AD takes his fifth field goal attempt of the first quarter and misses it, but taking advantage of the mismatch inside is ready. Had the mismatch underneath, Tyus Jones way too short to handle him under there and he made him pay. Nurkic for three, got it. After shooting 24% from three last season, AD gives Nurkic a wide open look from beyond the arc. The Suns then focus on freeing up KD, who uses his length and high release point to set his feet and smoothly drain a shot from the top of the key. One of the greatest pure scorers yeah. ever, Kevin Durant. Well, I, early. I mean, he's just an automatic scoring machine. Russell leans in and scores. So he utilized that screen by AD to perfection that time. Bounce to, reaves down the middle, throws it over his head, then tips it in. up and in. Yeah. After a bucket by D'Lo and a strong effort by Reeves to put back his own miss, the Suns turn to Devin Booker, who patiently lets Reddish fly by to create a better look for himself. And Booker is straight away. Boy, when you're in chase mode like that, it is very difficult. After a bad pass by D'Lo, the Suns look to run, and once again, Booker showcases his excellent footwork and finishing touch. Booker, one, two, lay it up and in. Wide open look for AD. AD's got it, nothing but net. Gabe, shooting a three. In and out, no. Reddish gets the offensive rebound. Davis, straight away, triple! Ring it up for AD! The Suns kept leaving the red-hot AD wide open from deep, and he made them pay, racking up 15 points in the first quarter alone. Then he slips down, it's going to be Jones at the other end. Got it! Following a careless turnover by D'Lo, the Suns went on an 8-0 run, taking a 21-20 lead. Enjoying Booker, got it! Four-point opportunity! Gabe's going to attack with the left hand, that's pretty good defense to alter that shot. Yeah, they made him put a little extra arc on it and he couldn't convert. Monty Moore, it's the lob, the land! The Suns continued to move the ball effectively as D'Lo failed to provide help on Royce O'Neal's drive to the basket. All the way, left hand land, number double zero, that is Royce O'Neal. With 15 points in the first quarter, AD didn't force the action, even with a mismatch against Beal. Instead, he focused on getting his Lakers teammates involved offensively. Rattle it in, Max Christie from the corner three. With 321 remaining in the game, Bradley Beal begins to take control for the Suns. Beal, boy, he put the move. There's a little man on a big man. Beal pulls up for three and splashes it through. After missing one, AD stays determined on the possession, igniting a 5-0 run led by Reeves. Oh, Beal ran right into Davis. That's going to hurt you. I don't care how much you weigh. And Reeves scores. Oh, boy, AD was just standing there. Reeves, the floater is beautiful. It was all Lakers. They were the ones that dominated the floor, and they're winning this quarter again! Thrown down! Following a defensive miscommunication by the Lakers that results in an easy dunk by Igadaro, the Lakers execute a dribble handoff between Reeves and Dalton Connect. Dalton from way downtown! With a 35-30 lead at the start of the second quarter, the Lakers fail to stop the ball as Nurkic runs the Suns' transition allowing an easy three-point play inside. Oh. With the dribble, look at them all the way. Score, count it. And just like Stu said, what's rule number one? Transition rule one, you got to stop the basketball. The Lakers kept taking advantage of Nurkic's drop coverage in the pick and roll, 
with Reeves sinking a shot from the free throw line area. Well, once again, in the lane, just that little, it's gonna kill the guys in the, in the lane. It's tough to stop. Connect, look at everybody going up the ladder to try to get it, and it goes to Thank Hayes. You. Thank give you, Reddish. Reddish. Yeah, give him credit. Beal, connect. connect. There's the rookie from Tennessee. After a strong effort on the offensive boards and excellent defense by Connect on Beal, the Suns again struggle to close out effectively under their basket. Scoop, can't score, but he tips it up and in. Just That's the second time on a second effort. Well, he's just patting his rebounds. The Suns maintain their poor pick and roll coverage as Plumlee fails to provide any help on Reddish's jump shot. Plumlee has had a couple of brothers play in the league. Now Jones, little one-hander in the lane, just like Austin Reeves gets in there, and a little floater to score. And the only guy that end of the valley is Tyus Jones. Following two consecutive baskets by Tyus Jones, the Lakers committed another turnover, giving KD an easy dunk. Now it's a three on two, KD, look out! Despite a strong defensive effort from the Lakers here, they couldn't contain KD as he drives in for his 10th and 11th points of the game. I really like Dalton Connect's aggressive mindset. It seems he wants that smoke inside, driving hard to the rim for a dunk. Connect! Oh, he tried to throw it down! Boy, just challenged Nurkic that time. Did not back down of the challenge. Devin Booker continued to show great patience offensively taking the time to create the space he needs for the bucket inside. Booker, boy, he kept Christie right that? on his hip. You see that? That's yeah. great basketball by Devin Booker. Underneath, Vincent does just that, too, as he goes up and under in the scoop and score. Durant trying to get around. Vincent, there's that pull-up. Corner of the key is beautiful. As the second quarter came to a close, both teams exchanged baskets, with KD and Booker making plays for the Suns, while AD and Reeves stepped up for the Lakers. Durant, all the way to Nurse who was setting up a bivouac at the other end. Coming up on the three-minute mark, Booker leans in. He's got the full repertoire. Oh, he leans in and jumps over the top. <laughs> Underneath AD. Whoa, he went down and got it, and then scored in an and one. And it's bounced around fresh 14. Booker will take one second to shoot it. He got 14, but it does, I don't need any of that. Other end, Booker! That's called gliding to the basket. <laughs> Reeves again, and he banks it in! That's three floaters that have gone down. Concerned about AD's presence, the Suns struggled to defend the Lakers' pick and roll all night. Here, D'Lo fakes a pass to AD, creating space for his own shot. Russell, well, that's good little ball fake. Just a little hesitation fake to the right-hand side, then laid it in. Devin Booker capped off the first half with a fantastic pass, finding an open teammate as Christie closes out hard on it. Underneath good pass, really good vision that time. The Suns began the third quarter with a set play designed to free up KD or Beal. Initially, the Lakers played strong defense, denying the pass to KD, but Beal managed to get open thanks to another pick from Nurkic. Now to Beal. Beal's got it. Swishes it through to start half number two. Nurkic! And they come out of that with a three. After Nurkic hit a three, he finally chose to help on the ball handler in the pick and roll. However, without any additional support from the Suns to defend AD, he easily scores a dunk inside. Down the middle goes Davis from Max Christie to throw it down with two hands. After shooting 0 for 5 from beyond the arc in this game, D'Lo makes the right decision in transition, locating AD, who has a favorable mismatch inside. And now it's the lob under to Davis. So Caught ball watching, Reeves pays the price as Beal cuts to the basket. All the way back door, Reeves got lost. Yeah, Austin got lost. Tyus Jones. From Duke. Good, that was a good decision by uh, Tyus. Challenge AD. After AD's block, he attempts to deny the pass to Nurkic, but this gives KD all the space he needs to make the shot. Durant, boy, that is you know, seven feet. That kind of talent should be that illegal. silky smooth. Should be illegal. After a made basket, D'Lo pushes the pace and delivers a beautiful bounce pass to Christie, who cuts back door. Christie, there it is. Good pass for D'Angelo and a nice back cut. Davis scored 35 points on 14 of 28 shooting from the field. Here, he demonstrates his excellent touch inside with a floater. Davis, his plumbly was in his way, but Davis just pulled up with a little runner jump. Booker, boy, he hooked that time Christie, but couldn't oh, finish at the ankle. rim. Oh, he did. He turned his ankle. Oh, man, this is why you're not in the game in a preseason game, and Booker's got to come out. 
Following Connect's three-pointer and Booker's ankle injury, KD scored four consecutive points, bringing the score to 80-76 to in favor of the Suns. Oh, KD! I have to go with a, uh, a fly. By the way, good news for Phoenix. Booker is in the game. So it went down a little scary. KD, after that massive monster dunk, hits that silky smooth baseline jump shot. But Booker is in. I mean, there's Davis. After Davis notched his 25th and 26th points of the game, Tyus Jones sparked a 10-2 run over the next four minutes. Then Bronny capped off the quarter with a tip-in, bringing the score to 90-82 in favor of the Suns at the end of three quarters. Boy, Hayes doing some work. Bronny's got it. Crowd wants an issue. He scoops it up but can't score but stays with it. And Bronny James on the board. Playing 33 minutes in the game, AD continued to dominate inside to start the fourth quarter. Hey. Staying with it. With 10 points after three quarters, the Lakers aim to get Dalton Connect involved in the fourth, freeing him up for a corner three. In the corner, Dalton Connect. On the defensive end, a miscommunication during the pick and roll switch and lazy help defense by Connect allowed the Suns to secure an easy dunk inside. Whoa, look out. Bradley Beal in the corner. Bradley Beal, oh, good defense by Connect again. Here is a D. See, now there was a defensive breakdown by the Suns. Following a good contest by Connect and an easy bucket for Davis, Monty Morris's three-pointer stretches the Suns' lead to eight points with eight minutes remaining. Bronny James. Bronny James. Out of bounds it goes. After Bronny's aggressive drive, AD wraps up his dominant night by scoring five consecutive points for the Lakers. Oh, AD counted in a foul. And the night continues to be ultra productive. Here is Davis with the left hand. He's wearing these youngsters out. Isn't boy. he though? With 22 points on the night, Booker capitalizes on D'Lo's weak defense, getting a wide open look in the paint. Booker follow Plumley. Thank you, Michael. You gotta help the helper. Following Plumley's putback and a great defensive play by KD that was squandered by Beal, the Lakers narrow the gap to two points with a score inside. In that conference. There are no Kevin Durant's anywhere. Yeah. But Shafino. Traore with the nice reverse layup. Hayes and a handoff. That's good steal. Here comes Bridges. Oh, and he's cut down by Bronny. The Suns capitalized on two flagrant fouls committed by the Lakers, converting those into four points and extending their lead to six. Dalton is three for nine from the floor. Make it four yeah. for ten. That's a nice shot there. Make That's it four a, for ten. With patience, Connect makes it a four-point game before the Suns go on to a 5-0 run to extend it back to a nine points deficit. Ball, ball, and they love him. Connect trying to stay connected there. Washington Jr., pretty stuff. Poor defense by the Suns' reserves gives Hood Shafino an open look from beyond the arc trimming the lead to six points. Hood Shafino for three. So last year's number one <coughs> draft pick for the Lakers knocks one down. Blocked by Bull Bull. They're, going, they're saying that was a goal to oh, Is that what he was doing? He was holding the net. Why would he need to hold the net? A free throw by Ball Bull, followed by a goaltend and a technical foul on Bronny James during a drive, brings the game to a four-point margin. James trying to hold his ground. Gillespie, reverse layup is good. Poor defense by Bronny allows Gillespie to drive past him to the rim, extending the lead back to six points. And then, Connect sets the stage for an epic takeover. Connect! Yes, sir! With six. Trying to bounce it. They find him. Blocked by Trey Oren. Now the Lakers, like wide receivers, coming off the line of scrimmage. Connect to tie the game. He ties the game. <laughs> Don't connect. Do you understand that there's no overtimes in the preseason? Good shot, Dalton. Very good shot. Connect demonstrates his clutch gene once more by hitting a deep three-pointer over the outstretched arms of the 7-3 Bull Bull, leaving Phoenix with six seconds to attempt to win the game. They give it to Gillespie. Gets bumped by Traore to win the game. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, they do have overtime in the preseason. After Connect made two free throws to start overtime, Bull Bull received a nice dish from Gillespie underneath to tie the game. However, Connect was determined to continue to carry the Lakers tonight. AD is going to repeat as a leading scorer with his 35 tonight, unless Connect goes nuts here in the last few minutes. And like that's that? a good start. Like that? That's a good start. 
He's got 27 now. He wants to shoot it. He does shoot it. He's got another one. Connect four, baby. <laughs> this is the inbounds play. Bronny loses track of Gillespie, who drains a three-pointer to cut the deficit to one point. Gillespie, tough shot. That's a tough shot. With just 2.3 seconds left on the shot clock, the Lakers turn to their red-hot rookie once again. Got to shoot it. Connect. Corner. Yes! <laughs> Don't connect! Uh, Come on now! <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, boy. Laker fans, you got somebody. You got somebody for real. After two free throws by Washington Jr., Connect shows that he can make an impact on the defensive end as well. Blocked by Dalton Connect! Underneath those Suns have it. Washington taken away by the Lakers. Here they come. Connect's going to go to the basket. All the way. Count it! And one! <laughs> Dalton Connect is having fun. And one. I mean, he's just having fun. After scoring 25 points in the fourth quarter in overtime, Connect seals the game with a perfect pass inside to the cutting Jackson Hayes, capping off a brilliant performance for the Lakers. Jax, count it! Down the middle he goes to score and one. What? A second half for the guy with the basketball, Dalton Connect, player of the game. That's tough to do when you got AD sitting there at 35 and 10. <laughs> what a finish. It's great stuff as the Olympians hug at center court. Can't say enough about Dalton Connect. Look at that smile. Go ahead. You deserve it. Yes, he does.